stress, anxiety, worry can all inhibit the immune system. So it's important every day to love the moment. Part of boosting our immune system is keeping away from what inhibits or compromises our immune system. So what compromises our immune system? Late nights, going to bed at midnight. Going to bed at midnight and only having five to six hours of sleep, it inhibits your body's ability to have a strong immune system. Dehydration. When we're not drinking enough water, our body cannot replace, boost or maintain our immune system. Coffee, Coca-Cola, um, Dr. Peppers, they all inhibit the immune system because they have a devastatingly dehydrating effect on the body. Dr. Neil Nedley in his book Proof Positive, he actually lists how many white blood cells are destroyed with every teaspoon of sugar. Sugar kills off your immune system. So whenever you're sick, whenever you're cold, don't touch it. In fact, if you want to maintain a healthy, strong immune system, don't touch it altogether. And there's no need to have refined sugar, especially when we've got honey and maple syrup. I think my favorite must be maple syrup. Some people might debate that with me and say, no, oh, no, no, they prefer honey. I'm so glad that God gave us all the choice. God gave us different tastes. And depending where you live, depending what's available to you, your taste might change a little bit with that. But these are the natural sugars and they do not interfere with the immune system. When my children were little, I used to make them a dessert, maybe a couple of times a week. And I would use honey or maple syrup, or I might use some dried fruits. My husband loves apple pie. And so I make a pastry out of spelt flour, olive oil and water. And then I stew the apples. And just as the apples are finished cooking, I put either sultanas, I think you call them raisins here, let them plump up. I put that into the case, put the top on and bake the pie. That's a deliciously sweet pie and yet there's no sugar in it. So there are ways to cook and there are ways to enjoy your food without having to resort to the refined sugar. Nothing wrong with the sugar cane. The sugar cane will not inhibit your immune system. Why not? Because it's so bound up in fiber, it slowly releases the glucose and sugar cane is very high in minerals. And what the minerals do, they release the glucose into the blood in a way that is balanced and does not damage your immune system. Drugs damage the immune system. Antibiotics damage the immune system. Chemotherapy is disastrous on the immune system. Most drugs have an effect to knock back the immune system. Make sure you exercise every day. If you do not exercise, you are not getting your immune system booster. If you never experience the cold shower after the hot, you will never experience the immune system booster. Stress, anxiety, worry can all inhibit the immune system. So it's important every day to love the moment. When you love the moment, past pain fades and future worries don't seem so bad when you love the moment. Love the moment. Thank God for the moment. In a minute, you'll get another moment. Oh, how often are we robbed of the joy of the moment because we allow our mind go to the past pain or the future worries. Trust in God. He is worthy to be trusted. In Isaiah 26, verse 3, God said that he will keep him in perfect peace the man whose mind is stayed on God because he trusts in God. When you trust in God, when you believe that he loves you, that he has you in his hands, that he has your life planned out, all we need to do is trust him. No wonder Jesus said, unless you become like a little child, have you noticed those little children have perfect trust? I'm always a bit worried when I'm holding my little grandson's hand. He's only three. He thinks when he's holding my hand, he's invincible. He has perfect trust in me. Whoa, it's, it's, a, it's a little disconcerting at times. But it is a beautiful illustration of how God wants us to trust him. 
that will prevent us allowing our minds to worry and stress because that can inhibit the immune system.